Over the years, transportation has evolved drastically, from bare feet to different vehicles since technology emerged. Undoubtedly, the airline is the most favorable to passengers as the fastest means of transportation. The first Airbus to be invented was in 1997. It has been the link between passengers who want to travel safely and airlines that want to offer the best services. Today, the Airbus A350, which took its first flight on the 14th of June 2013 is crushing its competitors that have existed for longer. It's in tight competition with the Boeing series. You will want to learn about how it is overcoming its big-time competitor using different stats in this video. Before we look at the unique features, improvements and significant differences between the A350 and other aircraft, remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. The Airbus A350-1000 is a vast flight whose size can be compared to a football pitch. This series has a maximum seating capacity of 480 passengers. It has 54 seats for business class and about 426 for economy class. At the same time, Boeing 777, the last of the Boeing series, has a seating capacity of 414 passengers, with 42 seats configured for business class and 372 for economy class. However, this does not mean that the Airbus A350 is larger in size than the Boeing 777. The Airbus A350 measures about 242 feet in length, while Boeing has an overall size of 251 feet 9 inches, meaning the Airbus A350 is a lighter aircraft with more seat capacity. The measure allows it to have a quicker takeoff and landing time than the Boeing 777. The maximum takeoff weight of the A350 is 316 tons, whereas the maximum takeoff weight of the Boeing 777 is 351.5 tons. Although, not much difference in the takeoff weight. This feature allows the Airbus A350 to travel faster compared to the Boeing 777. For this reason, pilots and passengers make airlines that uses the Airbus A350 their preferred choice. Another exciting feature is the wingspan. The Airbus A350 has a wingspan of 212 feet, whereas the Boeing 777 has a wingspan of 235 feet. This wingspan possessed by the Airbus A350 allows it to have a fast takeoff but a slow landing. This speed enables the pilot to fly faster and land safely while allowing the passengers to reach their destinations faster. It also allows the pilots to have a blissful journey and efficiently run short distances, thus making it commercially profitable for airline companies. A pressing issue is the safety record of the Airbus A350 competitor. The A350 fleet has a very smooth safety record. It has completed over 934,000 flights on more than 955 routes with no accident record. This is a significant advantage and instills a sense of safety and relief in the passengers. When compared to the Boeing 777, which, as of 2021, had recorded 31 aviation accidents with a record of 541 fatalities, we already know the choice of the masses. This is a significant determinant of a suitable aircraft, one who ensures the safety of passengers while providing the airlines with good reviews and safety records. Although most Airbuses tend to be quiet, A30 is so soft that it is slightly higher than 85 decibels, whereas the Boeing 777 is also reserved. Its noise level is 92 decibels due to its bigger engine, making the A350 a better choice for passengers, especially those who travel long distances. Since coming into the light, the Airbus A350 has been in service with 33 operators. The biggest operators are Singapore Airlines, British Airlines and Qatar Airlines. Recently, more countries like Japan have started replacing their Boeing 777 and 787 with Airbus A350s. This results from reasonable operational cost and profit while ultimately satisfying customers. 
The Airbus A350 is the god of aircraft and has several unique features that set it aside from the Boeing aircraft series. An entire LED lighting system provides at least 160 different lighting colors. With more space, the aircraft makes the lavatory more convenient and less tight for passengers. It has large windows with auto-mechanical shades that prevent direct rays from the sun from getting in. The two Trent XWB turbofan engines power it, which is very efficient and quiet. It can travel as far as 15,000 kilometers, approximately 8,100 nautical miles, as quickly as possible. It has three fuel tanks compared to other aircraft, with five to eight, boasting about 25% in fuel savings. The Airbus A350 has two models produced by Airbus, the A350-900 and the A350-1000, which have been used since 2018. The A350-900 series was also in close competition with Boeing 777 and 787 series. Most people still preferred the Boeing series due to trust since it has existed much longer than the A350 series. This prompted Airbus to come up with the A350-1000 model, with several improvements to the Airbus 350. The first significant improvement is the use of lightweight materials for the crafting of the A350-1000. It provides reduced carbon dioxide emissions and improves the airline's yield. Airbus achieved this by improving the materials used for different aircraft systems. The systems include the electrical wiring to the tires of the aircraft. It uses materials like carbon fiber reinforced plastic made from carbon fibers bound to plastic resins CFPR, which are much lighter than aluminium materials. Airbus made this improvement on the A350-900. It is, again, making any series of the A350 a much better option than the Boeing, which is made from aluminium and other heavier materials. As mentioned earlier, although small, the A350 has a great seat capacity. This is a result of the improved cabin space of the aircraft. Airbus created extra room for this aircraft by carving the sidewalls, which provided more space for the armrest and seat pans, therefore not only accommodating more passengers, but providing them with maximum comfort. The room created also ensured that the lavatories were moderate enough for an average person. The extra space also allows for the new 10 abreast option for aircraft with a density layout. This is a preferred setting for most airlines. It makes it easier to differentiate between the business and economy classes. Furthermore, adding more facilities will urge economy class passengers to book business class, another way of improving airline profit and revenue. Let's not forget the minimal operational cost of the Airbus A350. Compared to the Boeing, which is heavier in size but with smaller spaces for passengers to stretch, making it not a good choice for those who want to travel far. Although it has existed much longer, Boeing is still far from Airbus A350, much more than what the company has in store for the future. This does not mean that Boeing 777 isn't a suitable aircraft, but it needs to improve on many things, from its heavy weight to its maintenance, to at least reduce the lives it consumes from its crashes. Remember that it needs to create space for passengers to be comfortable. I do not want to enter a flight where I can't even pee comfortably. Airbus A350, on the other hand, needs to keep improving its features. Nobody likes competition, so Boeing will get up its game to beat airplane A350 in the race to be one of the best aircraft ever. What's your take on this video? If you have any contrary takes on the Airbus A350, kindly let us know in the comments section. Remember to subscribe to our channel and turn off notifications so you can be among the first to watch our latest videos.